It is not just you who find it difficult to get started with coding because you don't know what to study, where to study and how to study. After almost four years of experience in other companies, I was finally able to get my dream job at Microsoft. I could have saved several years of preparation if I knew the correct path to learn programming. To cut the long story short, I tried a lot of different things from free courses to paid courses to learn the algorithms and by watching ton of YouTube videos around it. And these are the four steps that I now realize that I should have followed and you might even be surprised how easy they are. This is how I would learn to code if I start over again. Step 1. Learn problem solving. Every problem in computer science can be broken down into multiple steps. And it is important to do before you write code for that problem. Actually, that is what most of the software engineers in the industry do. You have a problem and you need to come up with a solution for that. And code is just a way to express the solution. You know, most of my job as a software engineer isn't really to write code all day, but to come up with a solution to the difficult and complicated problems and documenting that solution down and getting it reviewed by other team members and only then I move to coding part. If I have to start again from scratch, I will try to build flowcharts starting from the really simple coding questions. There are a ton of resources available in the internet on how to create flowcharts. Also, writing a flowchart for the problem makes it easy for you to code. I would suggest you pick the most basic problem to get started with, like school level problems from Geeks for Geeks practice section, and try to build flowcharts for those questions. If you want to make it more simple, try to write some pseudo code in a simple English language and try to evaluate your solution with the real solution. One more important point is there will generally be multiple ways to solve one single problem. Many people, what they do is they just solve the question and just move away to the next question. I strongly I strongly suggest you to check out the other people's solution, how they are approaching the problem. Each other people's perspectives are different, so learning from other people's approaches and perspectives is really important. Trust me, you will improve a lot by doing this. And problem solving is just not limited to coding. It can be related to any problem that you face, like maybe how to remove fog from your car glass. Step 2. Learn a programming language. Because that's what you need to code. You'll need an in-depth understanding of at least one programming language. The most common programming languages out there now are C++, Python and Java. All of these are great languages to learn, but I would suggest don't pick Python first. Because Python is not really statically typed language and many things are abstracted from the developer. So it is way easier to learn Python language. But learning C++ or Java make you a better programmer. And once you're confident in these languages like C++ or Java, moving towards a simpler language like JavaScript or Python should be a cakewalk for you as compared to say moving from Python to C++. And it is very important to note that programming language should not be a barrier for you. Like in future, if you're working in machine learning or data science, then you might be using Python or R language. If you're doing Android development, you might be using Kotlin. And for full stack development, you might be using JavaScript. So what I want to say is, you'll be switching a lot of different languages based on needs of the company. Step three, learn data structures and algorithms. Love it or hate it, you should have a good understanding of DSN algos. Most of your interviews, if not all, will consist of DSN algo questions. In an interview, you will be given a problem and you will have to come up with a solution for that in 45 minutes or so. But what are these data structures and algorithms and how to learn and master them? In one of the videos in my channel, I shared my plan on how I learn data structures, algorithms and problem solving in just three months and cracked companies like Amazon, Google and Microsoft. Click on link above to watch the video. Other than DSN algos, you also need to learn object-oriented programs I'll let you Google about that. It is really overwhelming at the start. It is so much to do and you don't know any of it. Once you are solving questions, you will start to realize that there are some patterns related to all the questions. It's just like a math. You learn a new concept and solve tons of problems on that concept, ranging from easy to medium to hard level. Now, from where you should learn DSN algos? Well, there are tons of resources available online. You can follow YouTube tutorials. You can take free or paid courses. Now you have learned some concepts, but where do you practice them? Well, I have made a video for you on comparing all the coding platforms, most of the coding platforms. Go check out by clicking on the link above. So to say, I solved a lot of medium questions in lead code and easy and a bit of hard questions as well because that is how the most of interview questions are structured. Now the last step, build projects. This is how you show the potential employer that you know how to code. Studies have shown that project-based learning is the most effective learning. But this is the part where I struggled a lot when I was getting started. Because let's say I want to make some Python project. I used to open YouTube or Udemy. I used to watch tutorial after tutorial. And I used to feel that I can make the project. And when I actually tried to build it, I failed to do so. I saw a bunch of tutorials, but it didn't help. I couldn't actually make any progress. And I know a lot of people go through the same problem. So how do you actually make projects? Well, 
start with small projects that you can do in a day or two by challenging yourself and after that move on to longer projects so whenever i used to follow the tutorial i made sure that the project i made was different from the tutorial also building projects will help you to learn software engineering tools like git for version control command line to install dependencies build and run your code and ide that's where you'll actually code and test your code and deploy it and a lot of other things and you can share these projects on github which will give you a lot of visibility and it will increase your chances of getting noticed by a recruiter so what kind of project you should make let me give you some ideas some project ideas that i would like to build are my own e-commerce platform or a shop my portfolio website or an ipl website fantasy game or a simple url shortener tool or a crypto price tracker which will email you based on your preferences and maybe a lot of other projects these are just some web development related projects however you could build whatever you want so once you are done with all these four steps you are pretty much ready to take on software engineering but to get a job you need to showcase your profile you can do that by building a strong resume so building an impactful resume is very important and in the above video i talked about how you can make a really good resume and i have also shared the resume with you that got me into microsoft so check it out feel free to comment any questions you may have in the comment section below if you like the video please press the like button for better reach and make sure you subscribe to my channel